Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here today. Okay, uh, love, sex, and relationships. Wow. If you want a tip, ladies, on how to build a relationship with the man, just learn how to play the games that he plays. And, it's, and games not meaning he plays with your heart versus another person's heart. It's the way we deal with life. We want to win. We're very competitive by nature. And again, handwriting analysis gives you that ability to learn how to win. Does that make sense? So that being said, we have to understand that our emotional response, all right, our emotional, the way we express ourselves, men do it differently than women. So if you take a look at the emotional gauge and the FA slant, and it slants all the way to the right to a D slant, that tells you how a person expresses themselves emotionally. Now, so handwriting, we all know what it reveals, right? Emotions, intelligence, fears and defenses, and last but not least, sex drives. Now, sex is not a dirty word, okay? So those of you who hear that word and cringe, it's the people who use it the wrong way who make it dirty, but it is what it is, okay? None of us would be here if our parents hadn't had sex. sex. The darker the handwriting, the deeper the feelings. This person right here, all right, has a drive regarding sex, but don't have nobody to use it with, or the person they're using it with is frustrating the heck out of them. All right? Loner. No loot. Now, if you're trying to acquire a sex drive, all you have to do is start to practice looping it. All right? Now, looping your sex drive, you have to practice. Habits are formed between 20, 21 and 30 days. So if there's something in your handwriting you're trying to change, you want to practice the stroke that you're looking for keeping in mind that you're going to start thinking and experiencing that intellectually first before it comes out into existence. So next slide. This slide right here is someone who I describe, since I'm old school, can be a little freaky. All right? Pole in the room. You meet him for the first time, and you got a pole in the room. <laughs> be like, is that where you hang your clothes at? <laughs> That's for us. Now, I've seen these strokes. I've actually seen these strokes. And I've actually seen these, a couple of these strokes in someone who actually said they were homosexual. I've actually seen these strokes, all right? So looking at the wives will tell you how a person exists in terms of their sexual experiences and imagination, but it also can give you a pinpoint and match yours with theirs. And that's the key, ladies and gentlemen, compatibility. Seeing what's in my handwriting and seeing how it matches what's in their handwriting. Now this stroke right here, this person right here, ladies and gentlemen, gets around a little bit, has a lot of interest. Sex, strong, strong, strong sex drive, strong. Because it goes down, he has a lot of interest, it goes down into the writing, okay? Deep, strong sex drive. Now, if your whys are not loop, and you run across this person, are you, are you feeling what I'm saying here? He's going, he, uh, <laughs> somebody's going to wear you out. Another why, physical frustration. Anytime there's no loop in the handwriting, it's a sign of frustration. It's a sign of frustration. So looking at your handwriting, is anyone experiencing a level of frustration either in, a, in an intimate way, working out, or in terms of gaining or finding successful wealth? All those are phonetic. That's all seen in the eyes. That's all seen in the eyes. Antisocial, the person who no longer trusts. Now, who's who still can who trusts early? Who can give up their trust real early? You know, say, I can trust the person. Who no longer can do that? No longer. All right. So there are three people in the room normally that I exist when I ask this question. People who say they can trust. People who say they don't trust any longer. And people waiting for my answer. Next slide. So, aggressive. <clears throat> with the Y cuts to the back. Nobody wants to date someone who wants to put their hands on you all the time. So please, I don't care how good a person looks, how nice they smell, how they make you feel. If that Y looks like that, you want them out of your world quickly. This person is physical 
is aggressive, would want to touch you and lay hands upon you. Okay? So you need to be very careful about this. Now, some of you may have this here too in your own wives, right? Physical. You know, just grab me. When you say hello to me, pick me up. Make me feel good when you're with me. Okay? But the point, the point here is that I, I prefer not to deal with no one like that. A lot of anger associated with that one. Next slide. Anger and resentment. Very important component when we're trying to build a relationship with someone and we find that we cannot. Normally found in a starting stroke that attaches to the first letter. All right? The deeper that stroke, the further back the anger and resentment goes back into their lifestyle, into their lives. All right? So this is the thing about anger and resentment that I found very interesting. <coughs> anger is a temporary feeling. Okay? You're mad and all of a sudden you just let it go. Resentment, though, is something that's held on for a long period of time. And this is the thing that I found about resentment to be interesting. Resentment blocks you from being intimate with other people. You can't connect on a deep, intimate level because this feeling that you had that was done to you won't allow you to do things. You said, I actually met a woman one time. And I was teaching this class, and we were talking about resentment. He said, Mr. Wiggins, I got something to tell you. I'm resentful of my ex-husband. I said, how long has it been? She said, 10 years. I said, do you think he's thinking about you? She said, no. I said, so why are you still angry? She said, because, and this is the key component that most people tell me, I need to tell him about himself. <laughs> I didn't get an opportunity to tell him how I really felt. And that's what most people have said to me. The reason why they hold on to this anger is because they didn't get an opportunity to tell the person that they're angry with how they really felt. It's amazing. Well, guess what? He or she ain't interested. So the first component of dealing with resentment is understanding that you must forgive yourself and somehow forgive them as well. That's the key. Forgive yourself for going through it and forgive them for putting you through it. Does that make sense? And then you can work on this stroke. Then you can work on this stroke. But you can't work on the stroke if you ain't working on yourself. Does that make sense? Very difficult to work on something in your handwriting when you're not mentally working on yourself at the same time. You must find a benefit in changing the stroke. Because I always tell people who are resentful, you don't have to change if it works for you. But don't wonder why you're staying single. Please don't wonder. So, with that being said, if you think it's impossible, it isn't, to learn these skills, because that's why you're here. It really isn't. If you think you know everything, particularly about handwriting analysis, even though you study, you don't. We have the best teachers regarding handwriting analysis here on this weekend that will tell you everything and show you everything you need to know. If you think you are alone in learning this handwriting analysis tool, you absolutely are not. And the last point I like to make, and I think it's the most important point, if you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're already lost. For in this world, you'll surely find success being about a person's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you really are. You have to think big to rise. You have to be sure of yourself before you can win the prize. Life battles don't always go to the strongest woman or man. For in this world, the person who wins is the person who thinks he can. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for your support.